on your hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to set up gpg for win on your windows operating system and basically how to use it uh, for pgp communication so in the, the first section of the course i basically explained what pgp is it's a type of encryption that will allow you to send messages across the internet or even the deep web or the dark net so in this video i'm going to show you how to set up uh, to basically use pgp on the windows operating system so let's get started so what you want to do is you want to open your browser and head over to www.gpg4 for the number win.org all right so once you visit this website the program is free to download just hit download gpg for win uh, the latest version uh, as of this release the latest version is 2.3.3 you can uh, you can you can choose to give a donation of uh, money through paypal but i'm not going to do that right now and basically just hit download so once it's downloaded what you're going to get is this little setup right here all right gpg for win with a little padlock so you want to run this uh, setup and it's a simple uh, setup wizard as you'll see just hit next 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 uh, when you reach this stage make sure that gpa is ticked all right you want to make sure that gpa is ticked you just hit next but i already have it installed so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna install it so once it's done it's going to give you these two icons on your desktop gpa and cleopatra so we're done with the setup let's get rid of that now you want to open gpa all right and it's going to open this command prompt and very very soon uh, later after that is going to open uh, this little window here now yours will not be like this yours will basically show you a a welcome screen where it'll ask you to create your key so let me just delete my current key right now and i'm going to show you the screen that you're going to get so i'm just going to go into key and new key now this is the screen you'll probably get all right so it's going to ask you to generate a key so it's going to ask you for your name so just give in your name your first name or whatever type of name you want to use and just hit forward you then want to enter your email address i'm going to enter mine this is for demonstration purposes again the the uh, type of communication might be different for you so enter your email address once you've entered your email address you can create a backup i'm not going to do that and i don't i don't really think it's important unless you're using this pgp keys for very important communication so i'll do that later and hit forward all right, so it's going to say your key is being generated. Now it's going to ask you for your passphrase. Now this is the most important thing in this, in this basically in PGP is your passphrase. You have to remember what your passphrase is. And basically your passphrase is supposed to contain letters and numbers. So it's supposed to be an alphanumeric uh, key or code. So I'm just going to create one. Again, the longer, the more secure. And it's going to tell you the quality of your passphrase. Make sure you remember it. Or I don't recommend writing it down, but just keep it safe. And do not share this with anyone. This is your, this is basically what will encrypt all the messages. So if someone has this, they can basically encrypt all your messages. So keep this ultra secure. So uh, as you can uh, keep it as, um, you can make it as powerful as you want. That's fine for me. I'm just going to hit OK. And it's going to ask you to re-enter the passphrase. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to say, uh, it's going to create it. Now, as you can see, it's created a key. Now, let me explain something about PGP. As I explained in the first, uh, in the first section, uh, you basically have your public key, which I will show you right now. If I say, uh, if I basically say copy, if I copy, uh, it, that's, it basically copied my public key. So let me just show you something right now. If I open up um, notepad, if I open up notepad and I paste whatever I've copied, this is your public key. All right. It's going to say begin PGP public key block. So this is what people will use to communicate with you. This is your PGP address or code, uh, so to speak. So if you wanted to communicate with someone, you basically send them this. All right. Now, once you've sent them this, what they will do, for example, is let me just show you something right here. I'm going to go into the clipboard side and I'm going to type a message. They will basically type this message. Let's say they want to type, hello, how are you? Oops, excuse me. How are you? That's the message they want to send you. Very simple message. And they're going to hit encrypt. All right. Now, they are basically going to encrypt it with your public key. So when they hit encrypt, they're going to they're going to paste your public key. We already have the public key entered right here. So we're just going to select it and we're going to hit OK. All right. 
Now, once they've encrypted it with your public key, they're going to get this uh, PGP message. This is the basic PGP message. So this is the encrypted PGP message. So they will send you this message. All right. So now, uh, once they've sent you this message, you basically have to decrypt it and you decrypt it using your passphrase. As I said, you have to remember your passphrase. So I'm going to enter my passphrase and let's see whether it actually gives us the message. And voila, it's going to say, hello, how are you? So basically how PGP works, I'm going to explain this again, is you, you have your, your public key, all right, which will be generated. And then you send this to the person you want to communicate with, all right? Now they, uh, in turn, will basically, excuse me, in turn will basically write a message and encrypt that message with your public key. All right, so let's say they say, hi, this is a test, all right? And they're going to encrypt it with your public key. So they're going to use the, probably the same program if they're running it on Windows. I'm going to show you how to do this on Linux in the next video. So they're going to open and they're going to encrypt it with your key. So they'll add the key from here or they can basically paste your, your public key and hit OK. Now, it's going to give them the PGP message, all right? So this is the PGP message, which in essence is basically the message in encrypted format. So they will basically copy this and send it to you. Now, you once you receive this, all you have to do is hit decrypt and, you, uh, and enter your passphrase and voila, you will have the message there. So that's basically how PGP works and how to set up a GPG for win on a Windows operating system. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in the Q&A section of the course. And yeah, thank you for watching.